Bane actually begins the game stripped of most of his former powers. He retains the ability or some aspect of the ability to hide himself in mist. Therefore, he's out of the range of most human senses. Later on, you'll also get the charm ability, where you target another character in the game, and then when you activate it, you actually get inside their head, and the camera moves behind them, and now you control that person. And Kane himself will have to actually defeat bosses who are powerful in that particular dark gift. But your dark gifts alone will not be enough to ensure your success. You must also learn to arm yourself. When Kane sees a, a thief or a thug or a knight uh, with a weapon that he wants, he can take that weapon from him, now he's got it. There's a large variety of weapons that Kane can pick up. He can pick up a dagger, or he can pick up a sword or axes, and you know he'll exchange them for other weapons as he needs them. We decided to implement a feature whereby the weapons could be broken because we didn't want to focus on players being able to, for instance, button mash so that they could get off a whole series of moves without being punished and that the combat system will actually reward people who skillfully decide when was the right time to defend or attack. It also helps us display just how powerful Kane's strikes in the world are that you can shatter a weapon upon an enemy. You may believe yourself an expert in combat. How wrong you will be. This is a different world that you must master. The combat system for Blood Omen 2 is very, very different from Blood Omen 1. We, uh, we really wanted to go with something that showed off Kane's strength as a vampire. So what we let Kane do is when we get into a one-on-one -on -one combat with a character, Kane can circle around them. You have to time your blocks to character's attacks. The swords will actually meet up as they're supposed to, so it's really, really cool. But to show off sort of Kane's uh, strength and power, we also let Kane grab other characters. If he can get inside their attacks, he can actually grab them by the neck, lift them up. He's got a weapon. He can do really mean things to them and toss them away. One thing we've tried.